guys, Luke from DLM here, and today I'm going to be bringing you a Minecraft video. No, I haven't done one of these in a while, and I'm kind of just getting back into the swing of it, but I thought with 1.9, there are a few new options you can do with building, and I thought I would bring five, five, five tips and tricks for interior design. So interior design has always been my favorite. If you go back into the recesses of DLM history, you'll see a few videos back from when I was like uh, 12 and... Um, but anyway, anyway, I'll jump into it. So, first thing I want to show off is pistons. Now, a lot of people don't really use pistons for building at all because why would they? It's a redstone block. But I think pistons actually make such a good table slash stool. So you can do a normal piston like that. Have whatever you want surrounding it. You can actually have um half slabs. Oops, oh, I can't find anything. Half slab. You actually have slabs surrounding it, which actually make it a much much better height if you want it like um. Maybe like a kneeling level. Maybe we were doing some kind of Japanese dojo. Maybe. Anyway, so past that. What I normally like to do with pistons is use them as um, any type of table. So here's a normal table with two of the most standard chairs you can get. I decided to put a carpet on top of it just for a bit of variety. That also looks very good. Sometimes I prefer to actually put something like a flower pot or even an end rod as kind of a really long candle on top of it. And then you just have the normal standard stool. So with a lot of my design videos I like to actually show them in context so there's a little bar I made I guess and you can see how well these work as stools in front of a um, as bar stools in front of a um, bar I guess and then we have a lounge here so you could see like a sofa surrounding it you could see um, anything in there works really well let's put it Acia, Acacia I think that, look, that looks pretty nice then we got the normal standard one and then we have this one. So that is tip number one. I'll jump over to tip number two. Tip number one was pistons. All right, guys, now this one is a bit different. I don't have many examples, but it's pretty much just a lot of examples in one. So this is a little design on a kitchen. Now, I, I didn't put a roof in because I feel like that's the least important and we're gonna be looking down the whole time. But what I feel like I like to do with kitchens is make them pretty claustrophobic maybe that's not the right word i like to make them comfy so you can see i've got a lot of stuff going on i've got furnaces workbenches brewing stand i've got a fridge here which is just an iron door with a quartz or iron block there and then there's a dispenser at the bottom which dispenses out food every time you hit that button um armor stand you don't really have to put anything on it just having something different works really well in different parts of the room we've got a bench here also could make it a table and banners and a bookshelf and that is tip number two just or trick number two just I, I feel like making a very very busy kitchen is always good you know I'll jump over to number three now All right guys so number three is facades now or interior facades or sides of walls so I feel like a lot of the time you get really boring walls I guess this one this one is a bit boring but it's small so it's excusable but, but what I really like is seeing walls with a lot of variety. So you get some half slabs in there, some different types of blocks, same color though, make sure they're not too different in color. Get some windows, have some depth. Stairs and um, panes are really good for depth because they're not full blocks. So I'll jump over to the second example now. We've got trap doors and wool. And then we've got this little, um, uh, like kind of like, I don't know, it's, it's kind of a lantern except it's it's got glass instead. I'll, I'll show you. It works really well with glowstone as well. Glow, I can't I can't spell though. So chuck glowstone in there. This is a really good light source. So you can have them alternating like that. Or you just have one. So the next one is just a big window, which is a bit different than just a just an ordinary four block window with pain. So like much different than something as boring as this which you can see oops it doesn't look anywhere near as nice on to the fourth one now we got a similar thing using the um, backwards stairs into trap doors except with a bookshelf in the middle so this one's also really nice I've been using this design quite a bit except they've been making these only one thing you'll see over there later it's a bit of a spoiler then we have a shelf with bookshelves at the back and stairs in the front or oh, slabs in the front like that all right guys we'll go over to trip tip tip number three all right guys so my design tip number four is always use different kinds of tables so the most basic table is probably i don't know maybe maybe that which really doesn't look nice it's way too high to even be viable so um this is these these are some of my favorite table designs so for this one i'll show you how to do it 
You get a birchwood stair, turn up or any type of stair, turn upside down, then go around the circle like that. And you can see that now, oops, you can see that now there's a table with only one small thing in the middle. Then you can do all this stuff to it like that. You can make it longer, you can make two of the supports and then have the single blocks in the middle. Um, this one uses the similar design to before, so it uses four upside down stair blocks except they don't merge with each other. And then there's some string and then some carpet on the top of it. And then just normal basic chairs around it, normally that would be a bit nicer. This one, you can probably see how it's done, it's just upside down table, upside down um, wood, then a plank and then another one. So these can all be as large as you want. Anyway, a lot of ideas with the tables. All right, and this is the last one, which is a bit more colorful and decorative. Maybe you wouldn't have these on it though. They make it a bit too thick, but it is Minecraft. It is up to you. All right, so let's jump over to number five, I believe. All right, guys, so my last tip for today is, this is quite a short video, but my last tip for today is sofas. So again, instead of just using chairs or longer chairs like that, you can have quite a quite a variety of sofas so this is this is a normal chair but then the front bit has been extended and the signs have been added on the edges so it makes quite a nice sofa this one um, is just a stairs all around the outside and then a slab in the center this one is stairs all around the outside but then two slabs in the center so it's a bit thicker and then this one is kind of a side arm I like it because it's not it's it's asymmetrical as opposed to a lot of symmetrical builds which which I, I really enjoy some asymmetricality in my buildings. All right, guys, and then this one is kind of a culmination of the last three tips. So we got some nice chairs. They're not sofas, but they're nice chairs. We've got a very nice table here in the center. You can see there. And then we have a very nice facade at the back. So that was a really quick video. I hope you guys like it. I will be doing Minecraft and Terraria videos in the future. I know that a lot of our viewers do watch both or play both. So I hope you can all enjoy. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them. And I'll see you guys soon.